bid mass introduction. So this nugget is on learning about how to use the basics of bid mass. Now bid mass is to do with the order of operations and that means the order in which you answer a question. What operations do you do first? So you've got your dividing, subtracting, multiplying, etc. Now you might have seen this written like this before with your B, I, D, M, A, and S. And it's the same thing. This is bid mass, and here I've got B, I, D, M, A, and the S. Now, I've written outside different, where I've put the D and the M together, and the A and the S together. And that's important, because technically, sometimes this might not actually be true. So, what this tells us is the order we do the operations within a question. So the first thing we do is the brackets, anything with this around it. The next thing we do is your indices. Now you might thinking, what are indices? These are your powers. For example, these are to the power of two, to the power of three, or your power of a half, which of course is the same as square root, etc. You've got your divide and your multiply. So divide, you're going to see like this. But remember, divide you might also see as, for example, a fraction. That's also a form of division. Multiply, you're going to see as times or in algebra, when two things are written next to each other. For example, 3a would be a multiplication. And then simplest to addition and your subtraction. Now this might seem either quite obvious or quite difficult at this stage. The best way of seeing this is always through questions and examples. So let's see a few of those. So here we have two fairly straightforward questions. Now here you might be tempted, if you didn't understand bid mass, to do three add four multiplied by two. And you do three add four, get seven, times two and get 14. But actually here, that would be wrong. The answer to this question is not 14. Because we have to use our odd operations, our bid mass. So when we're doing this, look at the question and work down your list. So here, in this question, are there any brackets? No, there aren't any brackets. Are there any indices? No, there's no powers going on here. So next thing, dividing or multiplying. Ah, there is. A multiply. There's no divide, so I know this must go first. Then just check. The last operation I've got left is adding. Well, that's here. So I'm going to do this first. So doing that, I know that 4 times 2, quite simply, this bit here is worth 8. So what I would then do is rewrite this question. 3 plus, rather than the 4 times 2, I'm now going to make that 8. So I know my answer would be 3 plus 8, which is 11. And that's my correct answer. Next example here, looking at this. Well, what have we got going on? I've got some brackets going on. I've got an addition and a division. Well, let's look. First of all, brackets. Are oh, there are brackets. So I need to do whatever's in the bracket before I do anything else in this question. So I've got to do this first. Well, that's easy. 10 plus 6, I know that this here is worth 16. So it becomes 16. And I've still got d divided by 16 divided by 8, 2. Easy as that. Now you might be thinking here is, well, why did I do the addition before the division? Because the division comes before the addition. But because it's in the brackets, you have to do whatever's in the brackets first. That's the rule. Let's see two more examples. If you're feeling confident at this stage, maybe you could pause the video, have a go yourself. But let's work through these two. So here, first one, example three. Are there any brackets? There are no brackets here. Are there any indices? Yes. That little number there, that, that power of two, that squared, is an indice. So I've got to do this first before I do my multiplication. So. I know that 2 squared, 2 squared, just to rem remind you, that means 2 times 2, 
times by itself. So this question becomes 4, my original 4, my original multiplication, my 2 squared has become 4. So my answer is 4 times 4, which is 16. Okay, my fourth example here. So I've got a subtraction and a division. Which one goes first? You don't do 10 minus 8 divided by 2. That's wrong. You've got to use your bid mass. Divisions there. Divisions here before the subtraction. So, do my division. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Then I can rewrite my question. 10 minus the 4, well, that's 6. Question answered. So, if you follow this and always think, do my brackets, then my indices, then divide or multiply, working from left to right, then add or subtract, working from left to right, I will get the correct answer. And that's as simple as bid masses. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Check out more of our content and remember to subscribe to our channel.